What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Broadway Joel. If you like to stay up to date with boxing news, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So if you guys remember a few months back, I made a video about how Roly Romero got pulled out of his fight against Tank Davis due to the fact that he was being investigated for sexual assault by multiple women. Uh, according to Roly Romero, a tweet he put out as well as an Instagram post is he is cleared of any charges. Las Vegas PD did their investigation. They are no longer going to pursue a case into uh, charging Romero with any kind of sexual allegation. This was what he put on Instagram and Twitter. After three months and a half of my name being slandered with accusations, having to miss out on opportunities, cheated out of my dream, and out of massive amount of wealth, the investigation into the allegations made against me has been formally closed. Charges were not filed because of the allegations could not be substantiated because, as I always stated, I am innocent. I am now the symbol of freedom, purity, and love, known as the boxer formerly known as Roly. Now, all you hating motherfuckers can suck my fat black. <laughs> he puts a chicken emoji, so let's just say he put fat black rooster, you know. And uh, is Roly black? I thought he was Hispanic this whole time. Uh, I don't know. I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta do more investigative journalism. But point is, after that post, he actually even posted up another tweet, which I screenshotted because I figured he would delete it, and he did delete it. So uh, this was the next tweet after that. She literally said we offered her two million. Does that make any sense? Uh, now I'm not sure if she really did say that he uh, offered her two million dollars, which I'm not sure if it's true or not. But point is. If she did say that, I don't believe her because Roly Romero has not made $2 million in his career. I spoke with uh, a good friend of Roly in Box Talk 101. I don't know if you guys remember. I had him on my show. I've been on his show as well. And he told me, like, Roly Romero hasn't been making a lot of money on at Mayweather Promotions. Although he's part of the money team, he's not really making money. And this tank fight was going to be his first big money fight. And he was pulled out of it due to this investigation. And so if he was pulled out of the fight, he never even got the fight for the biggest fight of his life. And he was, I'm pretty sure, I don't know how much he was going to get paid for the tank fight, but it wasn't going to be $2 million. So I don't understand where he's going to get $2 million to offer if he don't got it. So I don't believe that if she did claim that he offered her $2 million, but the tweet was later deleted, so I don't know what to make of that. But point is, Roley is now back to being a player in the lightweight division. We all know the lightweight division is stacked. Ryan Garcia, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, Tank Davis, you know, even up and comers like uh, Jose Valenzuela, Michelle Rivera, you know, other guys, veteran guys like Jojo Diaz, Jorge Linares, Javier Fortuna. It's a really, really stacked division. So it's it'll be fun to see where he lands in terms of status between all those guys because although i don't like his style I'll be honest there's a lot of inside rough and tumble holding and pushing and and dirty fighting but he does have legit legit one punch knockout power so that plays into a part that that uh shows me something that he, he can bring to the lightweight division somebody who's just blasting guys out but all right, guys, that's my video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you haven't already as well. And I also, I go live every single Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. It's a live call-in show, so if you guys want to call in because you agree or disagree with anything I just said, please do. That's Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. But all right, guys, till next time. Peace.